everybody. Welcome to class this morning. Thank you for making it here. We are on a week of kind of resetting, reworking the whole body all together. And for class today, I'm going to start us off using the ball. You're welcome to do the exercises without the ball if you like, um, or use the roller substituted in at times if you want. But I thought this would be a fun, creative way to get through our good exercises for strength and some opening up as well. So I'm going to have you go ahead and lay on your back. And we're going to keep that ball very close for the moment. If you would like, you can place it between your knees just to start off with here. And you'll take a breath in and then exhale and let your body just sink into the floor. And another breath in and exhale. And one more breath in and exhale. Get a little pressure on that ball. You're going to exhale, pull that low belly downward as you exhale, lengthen that tail, and then leading yourself into a bit of a coccyx curl. And then we're going to inhale back to the neutral position. So exhale, belly sinks, tail lengthens and curls. Inhale back to the neutral. And exhale, belly sinks, tail reaches and curls, little pressure on the ball. Inhale, back to neutral. One last time, exhaling, lengthening, and inhaling back to neutral position. Nice. So here, go ahead and get your feet in underneath you a little bit more. You're going to give a little pressure on that ball. And exhale, coming upward all the way to the bridge and just hold that posture there. Stretch the back of the neck. Find at some width across the shoulder blades. Setting them down, palms up, back of the neck is nice and long. You're going to squeeze the glutes pressing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then reverse, rolling your way back down. And then again, exhaling, lengthening, and rolling up. Back of the neck is long, going up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch and reverse the way back down. And one more time. Exhaling, hollow, rolling upward. Back of the neck stretches, squeeze, press up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then reverse and roll your way back down. Okay, let's take the legs to tabletop position. Hands going behind the thighs there. You're going to take a breath and press the thighs into the hands, dropping the belly down. And inhale, release. Exhale and press. So wrapping the shoulders down, keep some pressure on the ball. And then release. Right? So if you're okay with your head coming up, you can do that here. You're going to exhale, press, and come up, wrapping those shoulders. If not, you can do this head down. Just stay with the head down version. Inhale, and exhale, press. It should be really light. You shouldn't feel stress or tension anywhere. Just that work and connection from the thighs to the low belly to the shoulders pulling down. And inhale, release. And exhaling up. Good. Inhale, release. Take the ball, place it between your ankles. We're going to do the same thing this time, but legs straighten. So head stays down for the moment. Exhale, stretch the legs up. Pressure on that ball. Inhale, release. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, release. And as you extend, you can add a little bit of that external rotation. Inhale, release. Exhale. Press those legs up. Inhale, release. And exhale, press. Now, if you like to add that upper acro, you can. You're going to press the legs up, connect, and chest rolls up. Give that same pressure on the ball, belly sinking. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Wrap the shoulder blades down. Belly sinks. Inhale, release. And exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Nice long neck. Inhale, release. 
and exhale, press. Excellent, hold right there. If your head's up, take your hands behind your neck, stretch the neck long, shoulders down. Legs are gonna go down, up in a range where you can maintain the stability of your center. So exhaling, legs go down, inhale, then back up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, lengthen, inhale, lift. Exhale, reach, inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. And exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Beautiful. Let one leg stay up, other leg lowers down. Holding there, you can hold on to the one leg. Keep one hand supporting. Stretching long. And then you're gonna switch sides. You can support the leg, support the head, or roll the head down. Switching sides, trying to get the legs really straight here. Good. And then I'm going to have you take both hands behind your neck, bring your legs together at the top, open them in the opposite direction. Squeeze together in the top and open the other way. Straight knees. Keep looking at those knees and open. This is too hard with straight legs. You're welcome to change to bent legs. Up and switch. Up and switch. Up and switch. Up, holding steady and belly sinks. Up and switch. And up and switch. Good. Go ahead and bring both legs up, bend your knees, and roll your way back down. Well done. Let's grab that ball again. You're putting it back between your ankles. You're going to use a little turn out and then you're going to press out into frog. Point the feet at the end and bend back in. Exhale and press. Stay in control. I'm going pretty high up here because my head's down and I want to keep that control in my center. And bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. And exhale, press. Then hold, squeeze the ball in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bend it back in. Well done. All right, so let's take the ball. You're going to roll your hips up and place it underneath you here just under that sacrum so it's gonna lift you up uh, and then you're gonna bring one leg to tabletop and match it with the other leg belly sinking down holding that position there so i'm holding steady here i don't want you to use your arms to press down i want you to try and find the stability in your low belly so if you want to challenge yourself more you could pick the arms up off the floor here holding steady we're going to just tap one foot down and bring it back Trying to hold steady on that ball. Good, and try again not to grip with the arms so the work is happening in your center. Stomach stays tight, down, up, 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 down, up and down up next holding there's so one leg out and back switch out and back switch reach and in reach and in exhale out inhale back exhale out inhale back exhale out inhale back out and back out and back out and back and out and back good stretch the legs straight up let's take them out to the center let them stretch there for a moment try and keep the knees straight you can add a little bit more stretch to those inner thighs by weighting them down here stomach pulls in a nice big inner thigh stretch great and then we're going to take the legs one up, one down, holding here. So 
So really trying to open up the hip and open up that top leg. Nice strong straight leg. Great. And then we're going to switch. So pass through that center and find the other direction. Right. And then we're going to try helicoptering around. So holding steady, circling those legs around. Oops. Knocked over my roller. And then you're going to open and switch around the other way. And open and rotate. Open and rotate. Open and rotate, open and rotate and open, rotate. One more time the other way, open and rotate. Very nice, hold there. We're gonna bicycle the legs around. We're gonna hold the belly steady, reaching the lower leg towards the ground, almost scraping it on the floor, making that circle as big as you can. So the goal is to open the bottom hip, stretch that top hamstring, and control through your center the whole time. Circling, 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 and then we'll reverse, going back from where we came, going back around, and circling, and circling, circling, and circling. Great. And then bring your legs up. We can slide that ball away. And then we're going to change the position of the ball, placing it behind your shoulder blades here. So here, you're going to support the neck. And you're going to take a breath in. I'm going to let the ball be just a little bit lower than my shoulder blades here. I'm going to lift my hips up just a tiny bit. Exhale and come into a little curl. So if you shouldn't be rolling your head up, you're going to just keep the head neutral. Think about curling the lower. If you can roll your head up, you're going to look towards your pelvis and then open back up. We can all open. That's always good. Exhale and press. Rolling. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Hollow. Inhale. Open. Exhale, hollow. Inhale, open. Exhale, hollow. Inhale, and open. Great. And then you're going to come uh, into the middle of your back. Sit your hips down. Take a breath in. Let yourself open backwards over the ball. Keep that neck supported. You decide how far to go. And then if you can, from here, you're going to exhale. Pull the ribs down the head long, and at least come to neutral. And if you can roll up a little bit, you can continue that motion upward. Opening the back ribs into the ball. Inhale to open back. Big inhale. Exhale, reach, hollow. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach, hollow. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Inhale, open. And exhale, reach. Up. Open those back ribs. Hold there. You're going to bring your left leg up. Take your right arm and reach across towards that left thigh. Here, we're going to go down and come into that diagonal. Down into the diagonal. Down, open, exhale. Down, and exhale. Down, squeeze across. Down, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Open, and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Nice. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So switch your hand. Take the opposite leg up, reaching across. You're going to go up, open. Exhale, squeeze across and open. Exhale, across 
and open. Exhale across and open. Exhale, squeeze across and open. Exhale across and open. Exhale, reach and open and reach. Open one more time, reaching and opening. Place the foot down and let your chest just open over that ball one more time. If you have your head supported, and only if it's supported, you can remove your arms and also take them out to the side, opening the chest. If your head is not supported, please keep your hands back there. And then you can bring the arms up and overhead. As you're holding that position overhead, take a breath in and exhale, ribcage pulls downward. Another breath in and exhale. One more breath in and exhale. Great. Go ahead and support the back of your neck with your hands coming up into that upper ab curl and then we'll roll off to the side. Great, well done. Let's set the ball out in front of you and we're gonna flip over to the stomach. Here, I'm gonna have you take the arms out in front of you, the hands on the ball, forehead goes down to the mat here. I'm gonna take a breath in, exhale, and just shrug the shoulders down, pulling the arms in towards me on the ball. If this is uncomfortable for your shoulder, you can definitely do it without the ball. And then we're gonna to inhale to reach long, exhale, shoulder blades down, coming up and up to our swan. Inhale, reverse. Exhaling, inhale, reverse, stretching long, exhaling the way back up. Just letting that chest float up, uh, the rib, lowest ribs stay down and using the pressure on that ball to help me come upward. Shoulders down, neck is long. And release, one last time like this, exhaling up, inhaling down, great. Go ahead and take the ball. You're gonna bend your knees and place it between your ankles now. My upper body, you can let your leg go all the way to the floor. Your upper body, you're gonna find that same position you just had with the ball on your forearms though. So I can bring my forearms in underneath me, open up that chest. I'm gonna keep pressure on the ball and I'm gonna squeeze and lift my kneecaps up off the floor and then relax. And pulling forward with my lower with my forearms so that my lower belly stays engaged. I'm not feeling an arch in my low back. I'm gonna lift those kneecaps, squeeze the ball, and release back down. And exhale, pulling forward, squeeze up, and release. Exhale, reach, squeeze, and release. Exhale, squeeze, reach, and release. And exhale, squeeze, pulling forward, reach, now hold it there. Bend the knees up 90 degrees. Flex those feet. Keep pulling forward. Keep lengthening through the neck. You're going to press the pubic bone down and squeeze. Press up. Two. Three. Up to the sky if you can. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Hold there. Stretch the legs long. And you're going to squeeze that ball. One. All without touching the knees. Three. Four. Five. Six seven, and eight, and relax your way back down. Good, hold that position there, slide the arms down to, I call it cactus position, so 90 degrees from your uh, shoulders, so straight out from your shoulders, 90 degree bend at your elbow. Forehead can rest or just float over the floor. You're gonna take your breath in, keep some pressure on that ball, exhale and squeeze the shoulder blades up, and then release. So as I squeeze the shoulder blades together, my arms float, and then back down, exhale, squeeze, float, and then back down, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, back of the neck is long, inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, and exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. You're going to slide the arms down beside you, palms to the floor here. 
You want to take your breath in. Exhale, roll the shoulders up, back, and down your body. Fingertips reaching towards the floor. You're going to exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades on your back, float up. And then release your way back down. Exhale, roll those shoulders, squeeze, lift. So you should feel like you're lunging through the air here. Feet are down, squeezing that ball. And reverse down. Exhale, wrap, squeeze, lift. And then back down. And exhale, wrap, squeeze, lift, hold that position. Squeeze the ball and float the legs up. So you're really flying here. If you feel like you can, you're gonna take the arms out in front of you and then lower back down. Good, from that position, you have a choice. You can go both legs and arms up or if that's too hard, one arm up and the opposite leg. I'm gonna show you both together. I'm gonna squeeze the ball, exhale, float up and slowly down, two more up, and slowly down, one more, up, and slowly down, well done. Keep the ball there, hands go underneath your shoulders. You're gonna take a breath in, just push your way up and back into child's pose position for a moment with action. So I'm gonna haul the belly back, reach the arms forward, lifting up through my spine to create a stretch in my lower back area. And then we're going to come forward and take one leg up in front of you. So I'm going to bring one leg up in front. If you want to use the ball to help, you can place it just way up in the inner thighs. See if you can just help use the ball to situate your hips. So I'm going to press my back hip forward and pull my front hip backward to see if I can get to, to hold that ball. And what that's going to do is really square my pelvis forward here. So I'm going to hold that position, tuck the back toes underneath, take a breath in, keeping the pelvis here. I'm going to dig that front heel and stick this right butt out and bring myself up. Back leg straightens and I'm holding that posture there. If the ball falls down, that's fine. Just keep that same action of pulling that front hip, front leg heel backward and the Yes, and the back hip forward. So it's like a pulling in that direction. Yeah, I'm going to hold that posture and I'm going to really weight my front leg so that I can bend the back knee and then push it straight again. So I'm going to hold everything steady, bend and push it straight. Really digging in that front leg, bend and push. Bend and press. Good. Bend, holding steady, stomach tight, body strong. Bend and press. Bend and press. Bend and press. Good. Hold to there. You're going to press the front leg straight. Try to straighten up that back leg as well. So, and dip, drop that back heel into the floor. And then I'm going to bend the front knee again, trying to keep that back heel down. So I'm going to work on lengthening down this back line of the leg. Bend, uh, sorry, straighten the front leg and bend it again. Straighten the front leg, keep that pelvis squared forward and bend it again. Ooh, that calf's going on stretch now. Hold steady and push back and bend. The torso up as much as possible here. Really let that back leg stretch at the back of the back leg. So way down with that heel. Good. And then I'm going to push it straight. I'm going to turn to the center here. We're going to practice just some hip hinging here. I'm going to exhale, press the hips backward a little bit. Really trying to lift the sit bones behind me. Push your hands on your thighs. And what that push on the thighs does is it really helps lengthen your spine. So I'm going to really lengthen my spine and let my sit bones go out the back so I can hold a really neutral position. Great. And then I'm going to go ahead and stand my way up and hinge forward again. Great. Pressing away and coming up. Good. Hinging forward, really opening up the sit bones behind you. Let those hamstrings stretch way up by your sit bones. And then think about that same place, like your sit bones close and come underneath you. 
One more time, hinging forward, let them open. Hamstrings go on stretch and squeeze close. And then we're gonna go turn to this other side that you didn't do yet. Set yourself up if you want to grab that ball and place it there to help you find our first initial starting position, right where we had our hips square. Yep. And then I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that back leg and bend it. So I've got the weight on the front leg, press back and bend. Press 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 and bend. And press and bend. Nice. Hold there. We're going to push that heel down in the back, straighten the front leg, and bend it again, keeping that heel down in the back, opening up the back of the leg. Press and bend. Good. Press. Keep the pelvis square forward and bend. Press Oops. and bend. Press and bend. Press and bend and press. Bend one more time. Press and bend. Good. And then you're going to go ahead and lower down onto this knee this way, this direction here. Great. Let's go ahead and grab your TheraBand. You're going to stay in this same direction. Take the fair bend, place it underneath your front foot. Good. And holding this posture here, we're going to stay on the knee for the moment, exhaling and pulling backward and slowly releasing forward. So here we go. Exhale, pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades and slowly release. See if you can get the arms to actually pass your body and slowly release. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale, slowly release. Exhale, pulling, shoulder blades are wrap. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull. Inhale, release. And this whole time you're pressing that back leg forward. So I'm working to open that back hip. I'm digging in that front heel, pulling slightly forward the whole time. Pull, squeeze. Slowly release, pull, and slowly release. One more time, pull, and slowly release. Good, go ahead and bend the elbows at your sides. You're gonna actually cross the strap, I should have said that before, cross the strap over your front foot, and then we're gonna press down. Bend and press, bend and press, still lifting, still pulling that back hip open, press, and press, shoulders back, tummy in, press, press, and press, well done. Let's go ahead and switch sides. You're gonna take the band, place it on your under your foot, you can go ahead and cross it from the start if you want or wait till we switch exercises. You're gonna exhale and pull backward and slowly release. Exhale, pull, opening up the front hip, squeeze that hip underneath you and slowly release. Exhale, pull, inhale, release. Exhale, pull, lifting up. Uh, Pushing forward, lifting up your posture, pull, slowly release, pull, slowly release, pull, slowly release, and pull, slowly release, nice. Elbows bend at your sides, you're gonna exhale, press down, and slowly release. So same beautiful posture, working hard in this stance. I'm pulling that front heel back, pressing that back hip forward, opening the hip, Good. Press. Good. Press. 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 
and press. Well done. Go ahead and relax down. All right. So here, I'm going to have you move things out of the way and grab your roller. And I'm going to have you place that roller right in front of you um, under your hips. So I'm going to come forward and lay my, I should say thighs, really, hip thighs is where we're going. And see if you can start just on your forearms here. You're going to keep your neck long. My legs are floating, so find a position where your legs can float. Stomach's lifting. And I'm going to go ahead and just roll back a little bit, dig the elbows in, and pull myself forward and then backward. So my goal with my body is to keep it really still. And as I pull forward, I'm almost lifting up in my center a little bit and then down. So I'm pulling forward, lifting my center. So my tail might lift just a little bit as I go forward and down. Pull forward, inhale, release. So pull forward, stomach lifts. Good, lift your tummy, don't arch your back. Really lift over the roller. And release, like you're gonna pike. Elbows towards your knees is what you should be thinking. And release. And up, and release. Great, if that's easy for you, take the ruler, slide it a little further back towards your knees, so maybe just above your knees would be a good place. You're gonna do the same thing, only now you're gonna actually try and lift the hips a little bit. You may need to bend your knees so that your feet don't hit the ground. So once you're gonna exhale, going upward, inhale, release. Exhale, lifting upward, Inhale, release. Nice and controlled. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, release. Also a side of massage for your quads. Upward. Inhale, release. And upward. Inhale, releasing down. Well done. All right, make it one step harder if you want. This time you're going to take the roller on your shins, so you have the tolerance on your shins as well, tough shins, and we'll come back to those forearms. All right, middle of the shins are just below your knees now. You're going to take a breath in, lift those hips upward, and slowly down. Right, stomach's lifting upward, hiking up, and slowly down. Coming upward. And slowly down. Make sure you're pushing the floor away with your shoulders. You're going to look towards your feet as you push. And slowly down. Let's do two more. Upward. And slowly down. The last one. Upward. And slowly down. Well done. All right. So bring that roller back around underneath your thighs. And we're going to go on our arms this time. So here, I'm going to place the roller under my thighs, come up onto my arms. I'm going to pick, do that same lift action that I had before, even if your feet tap the floor, that's okay. And then I'm going to bend my elbows, kiss the floor with my nose, and come back up, pulling forward. So I'm bending, it's rolling back a little bit. Exhale, straighten, pull forward, tummy in. Exhale. Inhale up, and exhale, bend. Control that bend. Inhale, press. Exhale, bend. Try not to arch your back too much. Press, belly lift so that you protect that lower back. Right? Down, think more a seesaw than an arch up. Press, let's do one more. Elbows tight at your sides, and press your way back up. Well done. Go ahead and come onto your knees. Let's take the roller out in front of you. Hands on it. You'll take a breath in, and you're going to exhale. Let yourself roll away here. Stretching those shoulders, opening up the chest towards the floor. Thumbs up to the sky. Big breath in, and exhale. Another breath in, and exhale. Chest is opening, big, big breath in, and exhale. Ah. 
Well done. Okay, so we're going to shift gears a little bit again, set that roller aside. Take the ball back and we'll place it between your inner thighs, up high in your inner thighs. You're going to come forward a little bit on your mat, tuck those toes underneath. With the ball there, you're going to exhale and press the hips upward toward the sky. Now don't worry if the knees straighten yet or not. I want you to push backwards towards your feet. So you're going to push really quite a bit back. Exhale and sink those heels downward. So really sinking down, hollow that belly up, wrap the elbows and shoulders in. The neck is long, so maybe shake out that head. Good, squeeze that ball with your heels. So I'm gonna squeeze, 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 thinking about pulling the heels together. And then I'm gonna coccyx curl my way forward into my plank. Holding that posture there. Big breath in and exhale. Another breath in and exhale. Keep pressing the floor away. Squeeze that ball. Press. Good. Exhale, lift the hips up to the sky. Stick the tail up, sink the heels down. And then you're going to lift up, shift forward, rounding your way forward, rolling your body out to the plank. And lift up. Heels down again on your toes, rolling forward, unrolling the body, and then up. Heels down and lift, hollow forward, up, and heels down. Great. You're going to walk the feet in underneath you, come into a hinge back position. You can bend your knees if you need to, press the thighs away, open the spine, and come up to standing. Here. All right, so here I'm going to have you stand. If your ball's a little low, mine's a little low. I'm going to pull it up a little higher here in between my thighs. And then I'm going to take a breath in and imagine that I'm wrapping around this ball in a spiral and pressing inward to the ball and then slowly release. Exhale and squeezing, wrapping. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and wrap. Inhale, release. So try and keep the feet parallel, even though we're wrapping around. You don't want the toes widening if you can. You want to keep parallel and just find that activity of the spiraling in the legs all the way up and lifting up through your center. And exhale, squeeze. Good. Hold that squeeze now. You're going to shift your weight onto your left leg. So my right leg just floats here. I'm going to stay super tall. If you want, you can reach the same side or left arm up. And you're going to squeeze in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the legs towards each other. Lower that arm. We're going to squeeze in again. Wrap. Do the same thing on the other side. So take the weight here. Let the other leg lift off the floor. Reach up to the sky, hold tall on that side, pressing in. So even though this, my left leg is pressing in, my right leg is pushing back at the ball. So I'm really working to stabilize with this leg as much as I'm working, or maybe even more than I'm working the moving leg. This leg feels like it's on vacation. This one's doing all the work. Great, and bring it in and down. Awesome. Here, we're going to go into a little squat. I'll just turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to keep the pressure there. Dig those heels in. Squat down over that ball and press your way up. Excellent. Squat down. Inhale up. Squat down. Take a look at your knees. Make sure they're not doing any funky wobbling. They should be headed straight out in front of you. Good. Going down, sitting those hips low. Good, that's it. Hips down and up and hips down. Good, hold it there. Try and get the chest open, maybe even wrapping the shoulders behind your hands behind you. We're going to pulse down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and work your way back up to standing. Great. 
We're going to go from the standing position and find our way into our plank. So you're going to reach up to the sky, hinge forward, and walk yourself out to that plank. We're in that full plank position here, holding there. We're going to go ahead. If you need to, you can go to your knees. Otherwise, we're going to bend, work our way down to the floor. Take a breath in at the bottom. Exhale and press the way back up. Let's do two more. Lowering down, control. Big breath in, exhale, press. One more. And exhale, press. Hold that position there. You're going to walk your... Uh, lift your hips back up to the sky, hold there and sink your heels down. Really lifting the belly, sinking the heels. Big breath in and exhale. Good. And then you can press your way back up, going into that neutral spine position and working your way all the way up to standing. Reach up to the sky, big breath in and relax your way down. All right. Well done, everyone. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope your whole body feels worked. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon again.